Greetings and welcome to another edition of JPLN 30, the highlight show for the Jamaica Premier League. With just a handful of games to go before the playoffs, five teams solidified their positions in that playoff race, with two of those teams, Pokemon United and Cavalier, featuring the first of our doubleheader highlights. Let's check out how both perennial contenders fared. Alexi Perry in charge of this peak fixture. Portmore in there, full blue with red trim. Doing some defending. Cavalier shows a bit of energy in the first moments. Kyle Ming with the strike was going well wide. I probably would have picked out a teammate at the back post. And then this moment for Martin Davis. Hesitated with the shot, pulled it back. And then this decision was a wrong one when Alex Marshall was free on the penalty spot to start away. What Alex Marshall didn't know is that he would have another chance from the penalty spot minutes later but then Chanel Thomas cut on to his left hand side he was leading the attack for the Cavalier team and then this moment Stephen Barnett bundled over into the in the box and Alexi Perry pointing to the spot uh, rightful penalty for Portmore and Alex Marshall made no mistake sent JD right the wrong way and his left foot made no mistake third of the season 1-0 Portmore after 36 minutes. This was the second half, the first minute of it, and Gadiel Irving, the captain of Cavalier, hitting the crossbar. They would find the frame three or four occasions. This moment inside the era, Davis just couldn't organize himself. His footwork wasn't the best, Davis, and his head couldn't find the right direction. Then this on the edge of the area, Howard letting fly just wide as Portmore continued to attack. Then Cavalier finding this opportunity. McClear with the strike initially. The captain Irving driving into there. McClear again. And then Calvin finding the frame of the goal for the second time. Cavalier. Calvin, their leading goal scorer, had the beating of Williams, but not the goal. Post. And it remained 1 0. Then Portmore driving into the area. Alex Marshall looking for a second of the game, but couldn't find the target. Over the top for the Portmore captain. A last minute opportunity for McCleary, heading it over Williams, but again for the third time, the crossbar. And then letting fly Tyrone Williams, probably was missing the target and Williams was making sure a clean sheet for him and a big three points for Portmore United, 1-0 over Cavalier. Portmore United 1-0 winners. Let's talk to a man of the match, the captain, the goal scorer, Alex Marshall. Yeah, today's man of the match, Alex Marshall, captain for today as well. You got the pivotal goal, but you did a lot of work off the ball also. How do you describe your performance? Uh, you know, it wasn't, it wasn't the best performance for myself, um, but you know, um, uh, I helped my team defensively, so I'm, I'm grateful for that. And we got the three points, you know, so I'm, I'm congrats to my teammates as well and the coaching staff. I know you've been drawing a lot of games lately, but I'm sure this win has given you a lot of confidence beating a big Cavalier team, especially going into the playoffs. Yeah, you know, it's always good to beat Cavalier, you know, um, tough opponent, you know. They got a few chances which could have, the game could have went either way, but, you know, thankful for our goalkeepers and our defenders, you know, we kept a clean sheet. And you're seen as a talisman for this team, rightfully so, a player of your quality. What do, how far do you think this Portmore United team can go? Are you eyeing the title? Yeah, we're, we're in um, you know, the title, but you know, we want to get back into the CFU and that's the aim right now. But you know, um, we're just taking it one game at a time and hopefully being the, the top two are you know, a chance for the playoffs. Our excellent performance today, a great win also. Best of luck for the rest of the season. Yes, thank you. The win for Pope Moore United see them jump in third place in the standings whilst condemning Cavalier to their second straight loss as they sit in fifth place. We take our first break here on JPL 30. Stay with us for more right after the break.
Welcome back to JPL in 30, the second match of Monday's doubleheader saw home side Arnett Gardens hunting back to back wins as they welcome Clarendon Bay side Humble Lion. Let's pick up the action. Match highlights for Shane Nation. Busy from early and so are on it. Guns Thomas with the strike hitting the upright. Jaheem Thomas, he had an excellent match. And probably just tipped at the end of it for the man of the match award. A fever chambers after nine minutes put Humble Line ahead. Against the run of play, you'd have to say acrobatic finish. And Javanzi picking up the assist. And what a big lead it was for Humble Line at that point. Fabian Reed had his chances, looking to flick it over, couldn't do it. And then Kelson, what a game he had, Rashiki Kelson, pulling that one all towards the back post and disappointed that his teammate couldn't find the finish. Then this, putting it through the salad of the def humble line defense line, Henrik Gordon, the recipient. But his delivery to Fabian Reed found the arm of the Arnett captain and the goal was disallowed. This one certainly counted. Shavani Willis rising high to knock down a Joel Jones cross. And Arnett finally found their equalizer. This was in the 39th minute. Good finish by Shavani Willis. He had an outstanding game, especially in that first half. We fizz some really brilliant 30 yard cross field passes. Jaheim Thomas with another potent strike, which was well saved by Barnes. Twice he hit the woodwork. Jaheim Thomas. And on it, they just kept coming. Here's another hit of the woodwork. This time it was from Shea Smith, the outside of it. And he missed his opportunity. He would later be substituted. On it would find their second. And this time no woodwork from Jaheim Thomas. Nice pass from Kelson, who deserved the assist. And Thomas is pulling that beyond goalkeeper Barnes and into the back of the net. His fifth of the season. And on it goes with the 2-1 lead at the start of the second half. Humble line had a free kick, Vanzi comfortably over the bar, but on it, they were just too good. Kimani Arboin came on as a substitute and produced this for Fabian Reed. Still has the pace in the legs, Fabian Reed. Pulling away, cutting in front of the defence line, and look at that poor finish with the left foot. It looks easy, but it certainly wasn't. Clinical finish by the seasoned striker. And they had the choreography and the dance moves as well to celebrate. On it guys, but they weren't finished. They were hungry for more goals and a rise in the table. Fabian Reed freezing the defense and oh wow. Look at that finish. Just opened up his body so well. Look at this here. Just a stagger movement to freeze the defender. Pushed it through his legs. And Barnes had no chance. He was so exposed. What a finish. Second of the game for him. And on it guys were three were four one up at that point. The best was saved for last. Shavani Willis from the dead ball. Some 35 yards out. Look at that for technique. Barnes at full stretch and couldn't get close. Willis with a brace. His first two goals of the season. And on it with a 5-1 performance. Lige Williams is with our man of the match. It just had to be that man from the 35-yard mark. Shavani Willis at the mic. Yeah, I'm here today with Shavani Willis, today's man of the match. He scored two goals today, but there's no doubt which one was your favorite. Has to be the free kick. Has to be the free kick. He's, he, I'm been practicing these free kicks every day after practice. So one day, one day, one must score. And it happened tonight. I know you, you practice those free kicks, you practice those passes across the field as well. No, that's a natural, that's a natural thing. I think God blessed me with that. So it's, it's, it's become, it's easy for me. A high five performance by playoff bound side Arnett Gardens who picked up their 13th win of the season while Humble Land continued to find the going tough following their 13th loss. Much more action still to come as we go to another break. Stay with us.
JPL in 30. The high riding Tivoli Gardens kicks off our midweek picture as they took on the Lions United. Chris Taylor takes us through the highlights. Tyrone Robinson seen over this fixture. Tivoli Gardens driving forward early into the area. Into Dunn, and he just couldn't miss from there. That was his first goal. Found well by Anthony Nelson. Who showed good strength to get past Barrett and then Samuels, who went in wildly with the challenge. And Justin Dunn, he kept his composure. And that was number 12 on the season for him, his first of the afternoon. And Tivoli Gardens with the lead after just eight minutes or should i say after 16 minutes two minutes later justin done from the penalty spot and this was after my lines had the better of the play in the first 15 minutes with a couple opportunities and tivoli in the space of two minutes had a two goal advantage justin done clinical from the penalty spot tivoli would well my lines would work hard to get back into it tivoli with lackluster defending both teams showing real signs of poor defending in that first half. Tivoli guilty on that occasion. Jason Wright slotting it away. It was Daniel Hardy's effort here to just nudge that away from Shaquille Jones. And slot that pass, slotted that pass. Richard Brown did Jason Wright. It was 2 1 at that point, and then it would be 2 all at the start of the second half. Jason Wright putting that beyond Nicholas Clark who went the wrong way. That coming after 54 minutes and my lines were all square at two apiece. It wouldn't stay that way for long. Steve Clark off the bench. Look at this, a bit fortuitous that he got it back but very composed with the finish just to dink it over. Peter Harrison, who was slow off his line as well, Peter Harrison, didn't make his body larger at any point. And Clark said, thank you very much. A 68-minute finish, Clark's third of the season. And Tivoli Gardens had regained the advantage. They would hold it for just four minutes. Look at how Jason Wright allowed that to come across his body. The initial strike saved by Clark from right left-footed effort. But immediately following up off the head to nudge it into the far corner got a bit of the upright as well and helping it in a hat-trick for Jason Wright at that point that was after 72 minutes and my lines had drawn level at three all Tivoli had other ideas done with the strike off the chest of Harrison then forced the pass Howard Morris off the crossbar and a Dean Pennycook in the right place at the right time brave finishing Four on the season for the Tivoli captain and centre back. Very close to his hand. Tyrone Robinson said no, the head was enough. Tivoli kept on coming forward. They said four wasn't enough, so they made it five. Rodico Wellington off the bench as a substitute. Combining with the other substitute, Horatio Morgan. Just the second on the season for Rodico Wellington, the 25th in his Premier League career. Tivoli is number 10, making it 5-3, and they still weren't finished. Penny Cook lobbing that into the area, and Horatio Morgan was brought down. Enrique Gordon, just moments before that, should have probably have conceded a penalty again, and it gave Justin Dunn the opportunity to complete his hat-trick, his second hat-trick of the season, his 14th goal overall, and a big three points for Tivoli Gun. They run away with this one by six goals to three, over my line. Justin Dunn, the league's leading goal scorer, is today's man of the match. Yeah, I'm here with Justin Dunn. Another hat trick for you this season, more goals. What do you make of your performance, first of all? Um, I think it was a well, well played performance by me. As you see, we start the game very early. I got two goals, and then allow my uh, lines to get back in the game. We went 2 2, and from there it was a rugged contest, but we came out and get the victory. And I'm sure you're pretty proud of your team as well. It wasn't only you scoring. 
a lot of your teammates, your substitutes also came on and did really well. It's a really well-rounded team at Tivoli. Yeah, we in, from, we, from, from week in training, we were focusing on finishing and we came to the, the, the match and execute very well. As you see, we get six goals. Yeah, it's not easy to get six goals in this league against anybody really. So does that show that Tivoli is the best attacking team in the league, you think? Yes, in training we build momentum and each game we take it step by the time and the result will come. Well, excellent performance today. Another hat-trick. Golden Boot leader and best of luck for the rest of the season. Thank you. Your coach, it was a game of nine goals. I know no coach would be happy with that. What do you make of your team today? I mean, we, we played in patches. Uh, we went down, we came back, we fought again, they went ahead, we came back again. But I thought we were, we were largely disciplined today. We made some horrible decisions in the back of the pitch. We weren't as tight in the middle of the park. And hence we gave up a lot of um, free passes, you know, free through passes, and then that hurt us, really, you know. Yeah, and defensively, I actually was saying on commentary that there was a lot of individual errors that led to the goals. Is that something that you feel that like you can get the better of with the, in the coming weeks? Well, definitely. It's coming to the end. Uh, we would have basically secured our spot for next year. Um, we would have to now go back, look on the motivational levels, check the team that is playing, see those who are not, and then see if we can now get some guys out there who will be willing and hungry and, and, and play to the end. Yeah, but coach, you know, one positive of this game is the fact that you're still getting goals. It comes, seems as if whoever you play against, you're going to be a threat to score. Is that something that I asked before the game? Is that something that you think that you're really keying in on? I mean, that, that's definitely a positive. We, we have been um, creating loads of opportunities. Uh, we created, before Tivoli scored, we created about probably two or three clear opportunities. You know, we never took them, hence they scored against us. But guess what? Those are positives. Some football games, you'll win some, you'll lose some, you'll draw. You know, this is one of them where I thought we never played for 90 minutes and, and it really affected us today. Well, thank you very much, Coach. Best of luck for the rest of the season. Yeah, man. Thanks much. How do you feel about the performance? Well, well, uh, first and foremost, congratulations to the Tivoli Gardens unit. Well tried, um, Malines. Uh, today game, if you, if you realize it was really an open game based on the, the footing condition because the wet surface resulted in a lot of errors resulted in those goals. But in the end, we came out victor. And you know, you've now scored 45 goals in the league campaign, at least six more than any other team. And you spoke about your attack before the game and you must be extremely pleased with how your attack is firing. Well, pleased in the sense, yes, but... When you analyze the game, how many chances we miss? And those are clear cut chances. You know, they were created not only in the 18 yard box, but also the six yard box. But it's a work in progress. And you know, going into the playoffs now, you, I'm sure you're putting a lot of fear into teams, especially teams probably don't want to play you going into the playoffs and in the playoffs as well. Uh, what, what do you feel about that? No, you are you thinking about the playoff. I still have three more games. So it's not to jump the gun before time. You never take it in stride. I know you're into the top two now, I, I don't want to go too far to the playoffs, but now you're in the top two, not only will you get a buy in the playoffs, but also qualify for the CONCACAF Caribbean Cup, the qualification for that. Is that a big deal for you? The CONCACAF Caribbean Cup is the top three that qualify, not the top four. So you would be in the semi-final of the Premier League and is, you know have to take it from there to ensure that you're in the top three. Well, thank you very much, coach, and best of luck for the rest of the season, as always. All right. Yeah, well, it's the first time in over a decade that Tivoli Gardens have managed to score six goals. And what a performance. This is how match week 23 has looked. Portmore United with a 1-0 win. Arnett with a 5-1 win. A big win for Mobile United. 2-0 over Dumble Holding. They go into seventh spot, and Dumble Holding dropped to eighth in the table from six. Harborview with a six-star performance. Big moments for them against Lime Hall. And of course, we spoke about the Tivoli 6 3 win over Malines. Waterhouse currently lead Treasure Beach by four goals to one. A hat trick for Andre Fletcher so far in that one. And Gibson getting the other fourth goal. So Waterhouse currently sits in sixth position. Mount Pleasant, well, yeah, they were held goalless against Fair United. That was played at the Wembley Centre of Excellence. Mount Pleasant, as you can see here, will still lead the table and now by five points they extend the lead at the top did have an opportunity to go seven up but now just a five point lead Tivoli Gardens coming to that second automatic spot 25 their goal difference and 45 points four teams tied on 45 points from second to fifth 
Cavalier dropped to fifth now Portmore and on at third and fourth respectively as you can see now Waterhouse in that sixth position and look at their goal difference compared to Mobe and Dumble Holding so three teams tied on 34 but the goal difference a big deal for Waterhouse and Marcel Gale we've seen three hat-tricks this match week Andre Fletcher Justin Dunn and Jason Wright big goals goal scoring for quite a few of the teams on it guns as well with one of their best displays attacking wise this season treasure beach and lime hall on the losing end of things still in the relegation and at this point they will be heading back to tier 2 12 and 7 points respectively however view with a big 6-0 win they did their goal difference some justice carrying it now to just minus two but on 22 points no chance of really making the top six that's how we put a wrap on jpl in 30 on your home of champion sportsman we mean next week for another exciting edition.